Alright, hello everyone, Simon here, welcome back to Minecraft. Uh, I am back at base. Why was I back at base? I don't remember. Anyway, I want to make a map, because today... The plan is to work on the... Forecourt? The giant head statue slash sacrificial altar. Forecourt? Ah, uh, not... And... Nine paper. Well, I might want to look at it from above. So where's my plant? Did I put paper in plant? Oh no. Oh, there it is. Oh, why is it doing that? Right, let's make a map. See if the map helps. It might not help. If the uh, forecourt is like in the middle of the of boundary, then it's not going to help. All right, let's go see what happens. Um, during the week, I put all the lava in. Ah, uh, there's my lovely head. Ah, <laughs> oh, my beautiful face. I put all the lava in, and I've, I have cleared out the lava from the temporary lava farm. We do need to demolish that. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at the lava. So much lava. Uh, and now the head has a nice glow. Nice fiery glow from beneath. That's very nice. <laughs> oh, this is extremely funny. Like the, sh the light coming from... Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> Alright. So the next part. <laughs> the forecourt. Let me just use a map here, see what happens. Can't see a thing. Oh, that's useful. That's really good, actually. Uh, I'm gonna... Put this away, I guess. Put this... Well, let me just look at it. I need light. Where's the torch? Where's the torch? Oh yeah! Well, there you go. So the forecourt... Oh, actually, that's interesting. So the forecourt is only the same size as the staircase. That staircase is actually kind of big, huh? Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. So we've got the lava, we've got the staircase. And we've got the forecourt. The forecourt is going to be like splotches of stone. And then I want what happens. What I want is like a... A snake skeleton. I want like a path. So going from the... Oh, I can't show you on the... Going from the staircase, kind of joining up, and then having like a, a... A winding snake, which is like the path. And then maybe like a... Lights. Pillars of lights, but it's like a... a the rib cage of a snake. I don't know if you know what a snake skeleton looks like, but... uh, Just kind of like a winding thing. And then leading up to the staircase. <laughs> uh, the forecourt's not actually that big though. Now that I look at it on the map. I guess it's okay. Uh, it's kind of huge here when you're on the ground. But actually, if you look at it on the map, it's only um, about the same size as the actual statue. Isn't that interesting? It's not as big as you might imagine. Alright, let me put that there for now. And we're gonna move on by demolishing this, first of all. Ah, oh, so dark. Everything's super dark. I need to put down, like, more lights or something. Oh, I didn't put my stuff back into the, uh... Storage. I wonder how much crap I have in my boxes. Oh, there should be 64 of these.
I mean, there should be 64 of these. 32. And 64, 64, very good. And then the snow blocks. Not too concerned about conserving the snow, but not as well, right? Very good. Um, where's this going? That's going there, I guess. That's going there. I'm gonna have to move these, right? Let's move, move the boxes to the side. Wait a minute. Let me just do this first. So we want. This to there. Right, flatten that out, and then I just want to like improve the visibility of this. Let me just um one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six question mark. Double the density of the torches. Is that six? That's not six. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make them small regular, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh? Oh, so now I just line these up. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not there. There you go. Um, what's the best way to do this? There, there, there. That one. I'm 
interestingly, the old pattern, which is six, uh, is sufficient lighting. But that's a lot of torches. This used to be the pattern you need to do in order to stop hostile mobs from spawning, but they changed it so you don't have to use as many torches. But then, oh, this is like, I don't know, it's right. But then for like, ray tracing, it's super dark, like zero really is zero in ray tracing. Whereas zero in uh, non-ray tracing, you can still see a lot of stuff, right? It's not this dark. There and there. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that should be enough light to work by. And then... Should move these. Where should we move them? Probably that way. Let's move them, like, up here. Uh... Oops, that there. Well, I mean, crap. Right, keep that in sequence. And then put that back up here. this in this in the wrong place all right let's step up a little bit okay and now looking on the map you just want to like continue putting down these splotches until we fill the whole space and now that we have that, we can see more clearly where we need the splotches, for example. Uh, brick. I want, a, I want a brick one. Like here. I should have put the compass in here. Should I make a compass? So I can see myself. No, probably don't need it. Alright, brick. Like here. Let's say Let me, if I don't mess this up, that is.
put this back for now. And I don't quite remember how big this was. Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Was it... <laughs> No, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, how can it be eight? It's an odd number, isn't it? Seven? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Am I crazy? Or is it... <laughs> Was this four by four? Or three by three? <laughs> I don't remember how I did this. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. No, it's four, isn't it? It's four, okay. It's eight. And it's four. I think. One, two, three, four. That can't be right. This is not what I did last time. Five... Maybe it is. Six... Seven... Eight... Did I do this last time? I'm confused. Did I really do that last time? I suppose I did. And I don't remember how far I pushed this out either. Not that far. Probably not that far, actually. So you want the outer boundaries of the forecourt to be to like spill out of the so at the moment it's a rectangle, right? I want it to like spill out of the rectangle a little bit and not be regular. Um, the question is how much do I want it to spill out? Not that much, right? Do I continue with the big blotches? I'll move on to smaller blotches and now continue with the big blotches. I'm gonna. What's that material? Granite. Although, hmm. so the idea is to put the blotches down, so it's like mold growing on the ground, and then the snake skeleton is going to be on top of it. 
So a lot of this, I'm gonna demolish again, unless the snake skeleton is like... Slab, maybe it's slabs. Maybe it's sitting on top of the stone. That would be cool. It's actually slabs. Uh, I have to be worried about falling off the uh, the railing if it slabs. But we just like... Oh, it's not going to be diorite. So it's going to like transition from diorite into blackstone. It's going to be a black snake skeleton. 